Stu Harrison, he is the president and CEO of the Greater Peterborough Chamber of Commerce, and he is joining me this morning. Stuart, good morning. Hey, how are you, Bill? Good, good. Thanks for taking a few minutes to be on the show this morning. I know uh, things have been very busy for you, but there's a couple of important things that I want to chat with you about. First off, we've been getting a ton of phone calls regarding encounters with individuals here in Peterborough and the oldies 96.7 $10,000 fugitive. And I understand that uh, you've got one. We, uh, I was in the office early and um, was told that someone was waiting outside to see me at 8.30 when the doors open. And you, of course, you know, think the worst and think, right. oh, goodness, what is, you know, what's the problem now? So <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd headed off at the pass and went out and uh, met her. She got popped out of her car and I was expecting, you know, sort of an angry citizen, and instead I've got this beautiful, smiling face asking me if I'm the $10,000 fugitive. <laughs> so it was hilarious. We had a great laugh and took a selfie, and off I went back to work. So and you can great. see the selfie on our Facebook page. I put it up there, by the way. It's uh, oh, right? it's fantastic. And hey. So you didn't call the police or anything. You weren't, you weren't that oh. concerned, but you were a little bit concerned to start your day today. Well, you know, we're we're a chamber of commerce, so if something gets wrong, people will often let us know, you know, with uh, with a complaint and that sort of thing. But yeah, this was not one of those. Just somebody looking to be ten thousand dollars richer. You got it. Who wouldn't want that? I totally agree. I totally agree. Have you been out looking yourself, Stu? Oh, well, I've asked the question a few times. Yeah. What What's your response been like? Uh, it's been a crashing failure so far. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you are back in the office today, right? No uh, last-minute vacations or anything like that. So obviously no. you haven't won the cash. Speaking of which, uh, you've been out of the office for, what, the last few days at least? Yeah, yeah, four or five days in Regina. In Regina. And tell us what's uh, been going on. The, the chambers from all across Canada get together? Yeah, that's the Canadian Chamber of Commerce Annual General Meeting, and this is what we call the Parliament of Business. We go through a policy process that is actually months in the making, but we all come together as chamber managers and usually the chair of the board from right across Canada, and we go through a two-day policy process where we vet uh, recommendations to government from right across the country. It's a very robust process. And in the end, you end up with what we call a policy book, which is just a complete list of recommendations to government on, you know, creating a level playing field for business, helping us be more competitive at the the global level, inter-trade, inter-country trade rules and regulations and red tape and all of that sort of thing, multitude of different different issues. What I think is really cool, though, is Peterborough was uh, greatly represented on a national level, uh, tell us about the the other reason that you were there. We uh, we actually came home with two pieces of hardware. Uh, one for Sandra Duak, who is our policy analyst, and as you know, uh, a tremendous resource yes. for the business community here in Peterborough. She uh, publishes a weekly newspaper column, a weekly television piece. She's available to all of the media as. Uh, as a tremendous source of information and commentary on the news of the day, especially when it comes to business issues. Um, and uh, she was presented with the Staff Person of the Year Award wow. for all of Canada. So that's amazing. A tremendous, yeah, tremendous thrill for, for Sandra. And she'll be the first to say that, uh, you know, the entire chamber staff uh, deserves that award, and she's not wrong, but it was uh, certainly nice to see her singled out for really upping our game here at the Chamber in the last couple of years. We've always done this kind of work, but uh, she has come along and just kind of brought it to the next level, and uh, we're very proud of her. And then the other one, if I can jump uh, or, or continue, we uh, as a chamber, we were asked, uh, along with the Calgary and Burnaby Chambers of Commerce, to present some of the things that we've been doing over the last few years, some of it triggered by Sandra, but how we take all of the all of the content, all of the lobbying work that we do, you know, essentially the core work of the chamber, and, and how do we 
get that out there and get the message uh, out there and communicate it not only with our members but with the with the broader community and with the elected officials you know municipally provincially and federally and we were very proud to present uh, in front of 350 uh, people at the at the convention and uh, and got ourselves a silver plaque uh, for our efforts so we were it was a good weekend wow yeah it's always nice you can come home with uh, something to put up on the mantle at the end of the day right Yep, yep, for sure. We're very proud. Well, we're very lucky to have such a great Chamber of Commerce here in Peterborough. And as somebody that's a small business owner as well here in this community, I truly appreciate all the work, and it's nice to see some recognition for that. So congratulations. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Stu Harrison, thank you for joining me this morning. And don't forget, if you don't ask, you can't win. Let's hear that phrase that can make you $10,000 richer. Are you... The oldies, 96.7, $10,000 fugitive. Nicely done, Stuart. Have a great day. Take care. Thank you.